together, boys, and keep the pace. Help! What's happening? Get out! Everyone, run! Surprise for those lobster backs! Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. Why do you think I'm met up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so... I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. Wait for my signal. Wait for my signal. Wait for the signal. Signal. Open fire. Wait for the signal. Wait for my signal. Wait for the signal. 
for the sick. Go! Prepare yourselves. Wait for the sick. Go! Open fire. Wait for my signal. Make ready. Wait for the signal. my signal. Make ready. Prepare yourself. Fire now. Wait for my signal. Prepare yourselves. Wait for the signal. Shoot! Wait for my signal. Make ready. Shoot! Open fire. Make ready. Fire! Wait for my si shoot. Signal. Wait for my signal. Fire! Wait for my signal. Hold fire! Shoot! Wait for the signal. Fire! Prepare yourself. Go! Make ready! Prepare yourself. 
cell. Go! Wait for my city. Fire now! Oh! Fall back! Fall back! We did it! The turning tail! It takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And, and what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. For the support of the glorious cause. I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there well, is no pay. man better Sir, suited to the task. Leave to really? The Congress that I can no think of several. Consideration could have Charles Lee. To have accepted this arduous employment at the do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> I don't call her. There's someone I want you to promise. meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. I'm sorry to pull you away Those like that, I but doubt not they the last thing we need is the two of you coming to blows. Connor... Allow me to introduce you to our newly appointed Commander-in-Chief, George Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor.
Hold and state your business! I'm looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. This is not Bunker Hill. Aye, it's Briggs. There's been some disagreement as to where we should encamp. Any news from Boston? The Tories aren't moving. And any time we try to press them, we lose a dozen men. I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. A good shelling might make the Red Coast rethink their strategy. And what of John Pitcairn? That bastard's the cagiest of the bunch. He's appeared time to time to taunt us or send regards by way of cannon fire. It's all right, though. He'll have what's coming to him soon enough. Putnam's just up ahead. You can't miss. I don't care much for your excuse for gentlemen. We should be building on Bunker Hill. Breeds is closer to the city, but it is also closer to the... city with no reason to leave. As long as that ship continues its assault, we'll never flush him out. But if the ship was silenced... Oh, that poor guy might be forced to get off his arse and come forward. I shall fly this flag to signal my success. And I shall speak fondly of you at your funeral. 